हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू वेरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नाइटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता सो इन टुडे वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट इंसिनेटर इन टुडे वीडियो यू सी हाउ द इंसिनेटर वर्क सो प्लीज जेंटल लास्ट आई गारंटी दैट आफ्टर वाचिंग टुडे वीडियो यू विल हैव अ क्लियर नॉलेज ऑफ हाउ द इंसिनेटर वर्क फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अ पार्ट 2 ऑफ अ इंसिनेटर इन पार्ट 1 आई हैव टोल्ड अबाउट रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन of a incinerator as a marble annex system friends those who are new to this channel i want to tell you marine engineering hub is a platform which makes video which are beneficial for the interview orals and for the examination purpose so please do subscribe our channel and you can go to playlist and see our all the videos which will be beneficial for the examination purpose like boiler marble sewage everything so let's start the video of incinerator before starting the video of incinerator i want to tell you about the component of a incinerator so it's a two wall type of incinerator basically it consists of this chamber is called primary combustion chamber this chamber is called secondary combustion chamber it's called primary combustion chamber because the main combustion takes place here and the remaining combustion is called taking place here it's called secondary combustion chamber the primary combustion chamber consists of two things one is the primary burner and other is the sludge burner the primary burner is assisted with the help of a diesel oil pump and the sludge burner is assisted with the help of a sludge oil pump to in order to ensure a proper combustion to take place inside the incinerator basically the primary burner is helped with the diesel oil pump through diesel so the diesel oil will first come and will ignite in this and will help to maintain a sufficient amount of temperature and after that the sludge oil will come and then it will start burning the sludge all the process i will show you one by one in the upcoming animation now here you can see the sludge oil pump and this is the primary burner this is the primary blower which you can see here this is the exhaust which you can see here this is the primary chamber with a side glass and secondary chamber with a side glass which is this and this this is the feeding door or screw door for feeding the solid waste which looks like this so let's start the animation of a incinerator so now the incinerator is in stop condition so it is designed with a primary combustion chamber for burning the sludge oil as solid waste and secondary combustion chamber why it is provided it is provided for burning out the uncombustion exhaust gas so whatever the uncombustion product is remaining that is been burned in the secondary chamber if anybody asks you why two chamber is there in center your answer should be this that primary burner combustion chamber is burning the sludge oil and the solid waste but the remaining unwanted or uncombustion exhaust is been burned in a secondary chamber now why the incinerator is provided on board if anybody asks me why the incinerator is provided on board so on board whatever the sludge or solid waste which are generated or which are produced is been reduced with the help of a incinerator so incinerator is a equipment which help to reduce the onboard sludge and solid waste ensuring that we are complying with the marple annex 6 during the incineration process so with the help of a incinerator equipment we are burning the solid waste and the sludge and also not defying the regulation of marple annex 6 so first what will happen as i told you the diesel oil will be supplied from a diesel oil pump to the primary combustion chamber here okay from a diesel oil pump it is in supply okay now it will get ignited and it will start to maintain a temperature of around 500 degree celsius once the temperature inside the combustion temperature has reached around 500 degree celsius the sludge will start to come and it will get self ignite and self sufficient at temperature above 
and it will continue to maintain around 850 to 1200 degrees Celsius. So what is happening? The first the diesel is supplied and it get ignited and maintain a temperature. Now after sufficient amount of temperature is maintained, the diesel oil will be stopped and the slow charge which is supplied will now continue firing. At that time, the for efficient combustion, the draft fan will get adjust itself. Now, once it has established completely, the flame will be now burning properly. And during this process, you can see here the draft fan. How the draft fan is behaving? It's a primary blow. How it's behaving? It's in this position. After that, it's in this position. After that, it's in this position. So depending upon the flame it adjusting its draft so that efficient combustion inside the primary combustion chamber should take place now there is a pressure regulating valve which regulate the return so that sufficient amount of sludge is continuously supplied so that continuous burning is possible so this is now it's here the first sludge is coming and burning 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 now a small amount is getting returned and there is a back pressure type of thing it is continuously maintaining a back pressure so that not a sudden pressure drop takes place and after that it is returning the sludge see it's coming now here maintaining a sudden pressure and then turning like this now the very large heat transmission area in the primary combustion chamber help to optimize burning the solid waste so why the primary combustion chamber is big now you know because it helps to provide large heat transmission area which optimize the burning and drying out of the solid waste and remaining thing is uncombustion product is been burned in the secondary chamber in the secondary chamber the gas from the primary chamber will be burned out as I said. Now there is a ceramic wall which is segregating the primary and secondary chamber which is made up of heavy duty refractory ceramic lining. Now this is how the whole process of solid waste burning is taking place. Now if you want to burn garbage or solid waste you know how how it will happen so basically there is a sluice door here this door will get open and after that will feed the solid waste the amount of waste it should be fed is mentioned that it should feed not much than that and after that this primary burner will be started it will get ignite the solid waste and once the temperature reaches will manually switch it off or automatically get switched off and then with the help of a primary blower it will continue firing till the solid waste is decomposed or finished almost finished so now let's see we have opened the door we have fed the solid waste after that we will close the door now if the door is not closed this pump will not start the composite process is not start because there is a cutout now once the door is closed, after that the prime burner will start and it will ignite. Once it ignites, it will get switched off. It will get switched off and after that with the help of this blower, it will continue firing and whole thing will be gone or incinerated. So this is how the incinerator works. So friend, if you have learned something in this video, then please do share our video with your friends colleagues in the Facebook, WhatsApp or Instagram and please follow us in Instagram, please follow us in Facebook by a page Marine Engineering Hub or Instagram Marine Engineering Hub you can find. Friends, if you like our video then please subscribe us and please like. Thank you friends.